Snagit was first released in 1991. I've been using the tool since about 2005 and on my website and YouTube channel it's one of the most popular tools that teachers use. There's always been one obstacle and that is you could only produce a single video. You couldn't stitch several videos together. Well the great news is that with the Snagit 2014 update you can now do that. In this video I'm going to show you some of the features when you would create videos in Snagit, and particularly, of course, I'm gonna show you the new Combine Videos feature. In the description below, I have put a link to Snagit so you can download and try it out for free. And there's also a link to buy Snagit if you decided you wanted to buy it. And there's a fantastic educational discount with that link. And there's a link also to buy it, the commercial version of Snagit. This isn't a paid promotion. This is just a video I'm making because I'm a big fan of Snagit and I use it a lot in my teaching and learning. So we're on Snagit 2024. I know it looks familiar, but there are some really nice new features. The first one I'm gonna show you then is this ability to combine videos, but also at the same time, if we click on the capture button, I'll also be able to show you a couple of the really nice features that Snagit has. For example, when you record, it's also possible to record with your webcam. It's also possible to screen draw. It's also possible that uh, you record the cursor. It's also possible to, of course, add your voice, but also record any audio from the computer. So if you're recording over a video or some audio that's in the computer, that can also be recorded along with your voice. So Snagit has already come on a long way from when it started to do screens capture. It's a lot more sophisticated now. But let's have a look at how this combine feature works. So I'm gonna capture some video content. I'm gonna click on the capture button. And then the easiest thing to do is just to click here to go full screen. If you click on that cross at the top there, we're now full screen. Notice that I've got all my settings here and I can make any changes I need to. I can see that my microphone is working and I'm also screen capturing the audio. As I said, the audio, I'm gonna click on this button to start. Notice also it's recording my cursor. So I click here and after a few seconds, it will start. This is teachertraininvideos.com. This is the home page if you want to come over and visit. And there's loads and loads of free content, all videos for how to use technology in your teaching and learning. It includes a special section on screen capture technologies, including Snagit. I'm going to just press the pause button now. And then once I press pause, I just press stop. And now that video will be ready. And if we come back to the editor, and there it is, you'll actually see now that that video has already been recorded. Now, what about if I wanted to combine that video with another video? So let's just quickly check whether the video worked okay. So we just click on this button here. It will start teachertrainingvideos.com this is the home page okay so that's fine now what about if I wanted to combine that with another video well this is the new feature if you click on add video I can now choose any other video that's basically uh, available for me to add so for example if I said well I actually want to add this one so this video is now going to be number two and this video is going to be number three. So we'll be now combining three videos together. So what it's basically doing is it's opening up and showing you all the videos that you've got and you can click on combine video and now what it's going to do is going to create a video that is based on those three videos. So really, really powerful and very easy way now to build a collection of videos together, which was something you couldn't do previous Snagits. Now, when it combines videos, you'll see then a new video that's been added here in the tray at the bottom and that is a combination of videos one two and three now there is actually another way to combine videos and let me just show you if i go into my tray and this shows me any recent videos i've made and i click for example on that one now and then i clicked on add video and then i then it's going to again offer me the option to add another video so i'm going to say add this one and that will then add a second video so it is actually possible to just combine videos that you've got already in your tray. So you click on the first one and then it's gonna 
when you click on add video it's then again going to open up the kind of screen where you can see all the different videos that you've got available so you can actually work in a couple of ways to combine videos I find this now really fast really effective you can see it's combining the videos now you've got that two kind of two ways of working you could be making your recordings and then combining them together or if you've already got the recordings in the tray at the bottom then you can just click on the videos that you want to add and do it that way as well so why is Snagit so popular? Well, the reason is it just does so many things. It does screen capture, but it also does image capture. Just one thing about the screen capture as well is that it allows you to upload the videos onto a repository where you can share the link so the students can see the video and it allows the students to comment by the side. So it's really useful when you want to do something a little bit discursive or have some collaboration or a discussion. You've also got image capture. You can image capture anything. And when you use the image capture afterwards, you can augment that image. You can add arrows, you can add text, you can bring in multiple images into one uh, image, for example. So it's really great. You can use it, for example, for making YouTube thumbnails, but you can make it use it for making images that you want to work with. So the, the screen capture technology and the image capture are really useful. But then it's got another load of tools. For example, I love this one. Click here, create image from a template. Now, if I'm doing a handout or I need to create an infographic, I can choose one of these templates, just drag the pictures in from the tray or from images that I've got in Snagit and they will be placed in and they'll look really good because it's all templated for me and suddenly I've got a really professional looking handout. So it's the fact that Snagit can do so many things and of course the price is very reasonable. Okay, really hoped you liked that video. And if you did, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads more videos all around the theme of using technology in teaching and learning. There's a special section of screen capture videos just here and also of Camtasia, which is actually the tool that I use to make these videos. You can find loads of stuff on the front page. You can also find out about my courses. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, which has about 12,000 subscribers, I am providing a 14 part free video course in using technology in teaching and learning. And I send you one video on one topic every four or five days. There are no tricks. I'm not trying to sell you anything. You'll see that nearly everything that I recommend is free and you really might find that useful. Uh, of course, if you sign up to the newsletter, you'll also get updated with all the latest videos, the blog posts, the free webinars that we often run, and of course, all my courses. You can contact me from this website as well if you want to ask me to do some training with you or with your organization. And I'm going to leave a few more videos on the screen now about Snagit. And thank you very much.